We're going to look at another example of uh, division. Again, I'm going to show you long division. So it says divide the polynomial 4 minus 5x minus x squared plus 6x cubed by 3x minus 2. So I've already set up the problem. As you can see, uh, if, I, if I'm missing a place value, and I, I need to make sure that I hold it somewhere, but this is linear and this is your constant. So here you have a third degree, second degree, first degree, and then a degree of zero. So I'm not missing any place values, so that's good. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start my division process. So I look at this and say, what do I have to multiply 3x by to give me 6x squared? And that answer is 2x squared. So I'm going to take this and multiply it by both of these terms right here. When I do that, I will get 6x to the third, and then minus 4x squared. Again, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract, so both these signs will end up changing. And we're going to go ahead and uh, put them together. Those need to cancel. When I add these together, I'll get 3x squared, and I'll bring down the 5x. So the process starts over, and I figure out what I have to multiply x, 3x by to get 3x squared, and that's going to be a positive x. Notice again, I'm lining up my terms that have the same degree. Now I'm going to take this and multiply it times both of these, and it will give me 3x squared, and then minus 2x. Again, we're going to subtract, so I'm going to change both these signs. Those are going to cancel, and then when I put these together, it's going to give me negative 3x, and then I'll bring down the positive 4. So we're going to start over, and we'll say, what do I multiply this by to give me this right here? And that's a negative 1. You can also use positive 1 if they're already the same, but those I need to multiply by negative 1. So I'll take this and multiply it times both of those, and it'll give me negative 3x, and then plus 2. I am subtracting, so I'll go through and I'll change these. So that's going to be change and cancel. And uh, then when I change that sign, add them together, I'll get a positive 2. So my quotient is going to be 2x squared plus x minus 1, and then plus my remainder of 2 over my divisor, 3x minus 2. So that is actually my quotient plus my remainder.